Hi, this is Scott Hubbard. You're maybe like me. I am so tired of hearing all about the economic stimulus plan, the bank bailouts, the high unemployment rates, all the negative news about the economy. This past week, we saw the reconciled version of the stimulus plan pushed through Congress. We saw Timothy Geithner, the Treasury Secretary, come out with a very broad outline of the second part of the bank bailout plan. We saw uh, new jobless claims continue to be well over 600,000. We saw the unemployment rate rise to 7.6%. You know, I feel that probably most people feel that now that the, federal, the U.S. federal government is involved. They're throwing all this money at the problem that everything is going to be okay. Well, I completely disagree. I just don't think that all of this money, all of these government plans will provide the major long-term impact on the economy that President Obama is expecting. I feel that we're in for a very long period of negative growth or, or at very best, uh, no growth in the economy. I think we'll see some short-term improvement in certain segments of the economy as certain parts of these bailout plans are put into effect. But I don't think we'll see the, the long-term impact. Uh, I just think that the the market forces are just too powerful to be overcome by this government action. Now, base that on historical information. You know, let's face it, we've experienced a major bubble in the housing and credit markets, probably the greatest bubble in modern history. There's absolutely no way <clears throat> the government can step in and change things, correct things, in a short period of time, probably not even a long period of time. So let's take a look at the current market, current housing market. Compare that with historical averages. If you take the median price of a home in the United States today and compare that with the median income that a family earns today, that ratio suggests that housing prices are still 20% overvalued. And this, this average ratio that I'm speaking of, this goes back for decades and decades. And, and this is despite the fact that we have had um, uh, such a major decline in housing prices over the past several months. <clears throat> But this 20% decline is what I'm expecting. This will result in more bank losses, more bank failures, more foreclosures, more uh, bankruptcies. We'll see personal spending reduced. The uh, economic downturn will continue to flow into to, uh, non-financial industries and we'll see unemployment rates uh, continue to rise and be at very high levels. And no, economic, no massive economic stimulus plan and no bank bailouts are really going to be able to stem this major momentum. Uh, the market forces will win out. Uh, I don't feel that we'll see a bottom in the housing price market until we have allowed housing prices to fall naturally to their true market value. And then, so I'm saying that's another 20%. So if we, uh, once we have allowed them to fall to their true market value, then we will see housing prices stabilize and eventually we'll see housing prices start to rise and we'll see the economy uh, recover. Now you may not agree with what I'm saying here, but I feel that if if you're expecting the economy to turn around quickly, if you're expecting the jobs market to turn around quickly, I really think you're just kidding yourself. Now, you may have a, a job in corporate America right now that's very secure, and that's great. But someday, you may have a job 
that is in jeopardy. So you know, if we are expecting the economy to continue in a, if the, in a very uh, bad situation, if, we, if the, the outlook for the economy is, is very bleak, then what do you do or, or do you do anything? My suggestion is to have a plan B, a, uh, a backup plan. And that backup plan can take many forms. It can be in the form of a, finding a new job in a more stable industry. It could be in the form of getting a second job. It could be in the form of just completely changing vocations. It could be in the form of uh, starting a new business. It's really up to you. My suggestion is to strongly consider an internet network marketing business. And I say that because uh, internet network marketing has <clears throat> generally experienced very significant growth during times of uh, economic downturns. And when you throw in the fact that there is unlimited income potential in internet marketing, that's a powerful alternative to that corporate job, particularly if that corporate job is, in, is uh, insecure right now. Now the good thing is that you don't have to leave your corporate job in order to start up this particular backup plan in internet marketing. Uh, you are going to need to have very good internet marketing training if you want to be successful in that industry. And you can find good internet marketing training at a very reasonable cost. <clears throat> but if you will go ahead and, and just keep your regular job, do the internet marketing training on the side, then in case your, your job is uh, eliminated or if you have a serious reduction in your income level, then you will have a strong backup plan. I've talked today about the fact that I'm expecting a further deterioration in the economy because of the housing market. I think there are many other reasons why the economy will continue to struggle and I will talk about those in future videos. Until then, I wish you the very best.